Hi, I'm Will Sherman from Medieval Arrows, and I'm a full-time Fletcher and Arrowsmith. The arrow that I've brought for the uh, Arrow versus Armour penetration test is an exact copy of one found on the wreck of the Mary Rose, which dates to around 1545. We're using these arrows because that's pretty much all we've got. There aren't many others that we can use as extant examples to copy. They're made of a mix of black poplar, which is this one, and ash. We're flecked with swan feathers, and the swan feathers are bound with silk into a beeswax, kidney fat, and copper verdigris compound. The compound is then heated up, and that seals in the bindings and the fletchings and forms a good hard seal. In the knock here, we've got a cow horn strip, which is glued in place with high glue. The arrowhead that we're using today is a wrought iron Type 9 arrowhead copied from Museum of London Arrowhead 7568. The arrowhead is commonly called a plate cutter, and that's really why we're here today, to see if they do penetrate plate. Considering the weight that people put on these heads and the plate cutter name and the never-ending idea that these arrows are going to be going through plate or oak doors or whatever, it's going to be really interesting to see up against true armour, using materials of the time, using bows of the time, what these arrowheads are really capable of doing. There's a, an awful lot of work and time and effort, potentially from a couple of different specialists, yep. and a lot of swans and geese yep. that have gone into supplying Henry V with hundreds of thousands of arrows. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are, this is a valuable thing, each one of these. If you're gonna shoot one of these, you wanna make sure it counts, right? Yeah, and that's something that a lot of people don't realize, is they think of Hollywood volleys, yeah. of just wasting arrows. Yeah. You probably wanna make sure that you're using them properly. And yeah. You yeah. might be able to lob this a, a great distance, but you also want to be sure it does something when it gets there, right? Yeah. But it's it's heavy in the hand. It feels like it's going to do something. Yeah. Well, these in the right are environment. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're 80 grams, pretty much dead on mm -hmm. all of these. The heads are 25 grams, and so it it needs to be heavy like this to stand in a heavy bow. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it's also got to be able to travel the distance, and you know hit hard when it gets there. Yeah, there's a holy grail of uh -huh. everything coming together just right, yeah. and then you've got a good ammunition. But uh -huh. It's very important. If the arrow's too heavy, it won't shoot well. Uh -huh. If it's too light, you're risking it breaking on release. If it bends too much, it can shatter. If it's too stiff, it won't shoot properly. Yeah. So there's a, there's a fine line between getting it right and getting it wrong. And you've got to have the right ammunition for the weapon. I mean, you can't just stick any arrow into any bow. Nope. You've got to have the right weight of arrow for the right draw weight. Yeah, if the arrow shoots well out of a 160 pound bow, it won't shoot well out of a 100 pound bow. Uh -huh. So we can then look at the arrows that we've got and we can work out what kind of bows they were shooting from uh -huh. there. So the arrow can't be too heavy and it can't be too light. It's got to be the, precisely the right weight for the job. And the weight of the arrow and the weight, draw weight of the bow have got to match up. Yep. And if you're mass producing the arrows, which you have to do if you need hundreds of thousands of them, then that means you need all your archers shooting basically the same kind of bow. Yeah. They can't just shoot whatever weight they want. No. No, if it's 100 pounds lighter, the arrows aren't going to fly mm -hmm. well. I'm really struck by what a complex object this is, actually. An incredible amount of effort uh, and care has gone into this. Um, you know, there's the, the, the forming of the shaft, the forging of the head, the cutting of the fletchings, all those thousands of geese and swans who've given up their feathers and then binding them on and putting the horn knock in and, and, and laying the wax in. I mean, each one of these is valuable, yeah. right? This is, I mean, there's a lot of work in one of these, right? Yeah, we're talking about an hour, maybe a bit over per, per arrow. So you're talking maybe five to seven minutes for the head and then the rest of the time spent on working the shaft down and, mm -hmm. and all of this end here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're talking hundreds of thousands of arrows, you're talking hundreds of thousands of man hours. Yeah, you want to make sure they're hitting what you're aiming at and, yeah. and, and having an effect at the end of that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they get there, they make a difference. Yeah.